Absolutely. So let's talk about this. Another round of storms on Friday. Uh, super loud for pretty Ooh. much everybody, I think, in the Twin Cities oh metro gosh. area and beyond, right? But then you look at that hail, and that's a whole different story. Right. I mean, from dime size, golf ball size, sometimes chunks even as big as a softball. Uh, we looked at this question actually last year when we were seeing a lot of big hail coming through because we wanted to know, like, how does it get so big? Yeah. You're talking about, you know, it's 80 degrees on the ground and you're thinking how do you get these giant chunks of ice when it's so warm here but then you know when we talk to the and Riley can tell you this we talk to the weather service they say look it's negative 100 degrees 60,000 feet in the air and that's where the hail is forming right yeah and if you think about it, you know temperatures get cooler um, as you go higher in the atmosphere at least part of it so uh, you know and you need cool air aloft to really create the thunderstorms. And really what you look at here is, uh, you know, moisture, you have moisture droplets, okay? So you have water vapor um, that's in the clouds, basically that uh, that that causes rain, or that's what it is. What happens is you get updrafts, okay? And the stronger the updraft is in the storm uh, is where you can get the larger hail. So what happens is it's kind of a, cycle, a recycling motion if you think about this. So you have a droplet of water that goes up, you know, more, more water condenses on that, and then it can grow bigger in colder, mm -hmm. In, 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 cold, in a colder uh, environment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It'll drop because of gravity, but then what happens is is the updraft is so strong it'll take that, that piece of ice back up right. and it just keeps accumulating until it gets heavy enough to fall. So that's why you get have a higher amount. So really, you know, you can get um, uh, updrafts anywhere from 50 miles per hour to 100 miles per hour. When right. you get that high of, a, of an updraft, you're gonna get very large hail. And of course, it'll come down really quickly as well. It'll come down sometimes oh. at 100 miles per hour. So oh. that's that's why, yeah, you know, yeah. you get a lot of damage and, you know, you tell people to get indoors if possible. I mean, many people have been caught outside in some of these storms that have grown so rapidly and so, you know, quickly um, that you you can get you can be outside in this and, and get hurt for sure. Absolutely. So you're talking about that 100 mile an hour can come down. I mean, that's going to crash into your windshields. It's going to get right. I'm sure going to yeah. get your roof. Oh, yeah. Uh, and that's like a four inch, let's say softball size. OK, yeah. so like that right there. The largest ever recorded, according to the National Weather Service, volley ball size. Yeah. It's amazing to think Eight about. Inches. And That's, I remember that. I do remember that uh, too. I mean, yeah. if you think about it, I think it was 2010 yep. is when it was. Um, but volleyball South size Dakota. hail, that is just is scary. It's amazing to think that something that big can linger up in the sky right. for that long. It just shows how strong, I mean, how Mother Nature is. Yeah. And when it comes to weather, I mean, you know, it, anything can happen really. No. Yeah. And there's nothing that we love better than measuring our hail yes. and putting it on social media. So <laughs> that's what Weather Service says. They prefer you to t use a ruler and tell them the inches because then they can kind of keep it consistent. Uh, but people like to use fruits and veggies and hot wheel cars. Uh, they also use computer mouses. Uh, they use a deck of cards, um, limes, strawberries, all kinds of stuff. So um, it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it feels yeah. like that should be a feedback one day. Just right. like, what is your favorite way to measure hail? Well, and what, what's good about it, and, and you know, viewers do this, this is great, is you take something and compare it to it. So a lot of people always put like the dime down or the quarter, because then that way you can see it relatable in size. For example, with the baseball, you know, uh, and, and that shows how large it can actually be. But, you know, it helps kind of give a reference to what, what it is. So, yeah, yeah. interesting for sure.